How you doing, y'all? Welcome to Nappy and Jake. That's right, baby. On today's podcast, we got a lot of fun shit. Uh, I don't know. I called an escort. Oh, that was fucking no. weird. Yeah. And I want to... Where did you need to be escorted? Oh, Jay, that's not how it works, bro. What is Why? Not- okay, time out. I just realized what you're wearing. What am I wearing? A polo? No, a spoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you need something to be scooped? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you need something to be scooped? Do you need? I I got you. I'm not gonna lie. I have some stuff upstairs. You want to scoop? Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> did you know what that thing was? This uh, this. Yeah. Were yeah. you aware? Yeah. Oh, did you buy that for that reason? Because it, yeah, for scooping things. You wanted to scoop things. Like if it's I, usually only used for scooping a little amount of something. Well, I'm a big ice cream guy, right? And if I uh, wanted to like taste test ice cream, I have this right. on hand. Because like, dude, ever since COVID yeah. hit, ice cream stores, they don't allow you to like do taste bring, tests. Bring your own. So I spoon? brought my own spoon to taste test. I don't I don't think that's a rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I haven't the, tried I like it. The accessory. I haven't tried it, but you know. So long story short, you're working with criminals and you're starting to, you know, assimilate. I, I guess spoons are assimilating. You know, I stole this off an old lady. Did you? Yeah. Did you actually? No, I actually Where got it. Where did you buy that? Well, like, dude, I was walking around, like, downtown. and there That's was already just, a bad story. There was just, like, this, like, booth or whatever, this girl selling jewelry. And she, like, it was, like, a dollar for, like, three necklaces. And I was, like, I'll give you a dollar. And yeah. I got you a spoon. I did she did she know what was going on? The person selling it? Yeah. I think so. Was she selling other things? She was selling artwork. That doesn't sound like Coke. I don't know if oh. it was a Coke vibe. Oh. Uh, if anything, she was selling some like shrooms or some shit, psychedelics, bro. Gotcha. She was definitely in that hippie lifestyle. Maybe it's a ketamine scoop. You know spoon. Or it's for heroin. Right? Or heroin. You know, yeah. you could like fucking. The last podcast was maybe we're going right back into the. Oh. And then. Oh. <laughs> I actually talked to somebody about heroin today. Okay. Well, we need but to We don't out. need to talk about Yeah, yeah no drugs. more drugs. <laughs> we got other weird shit. There's porn stars. We got to talk about a question that somebody sent in. Uh, I went on an awkward date, also got ghosted. And I don't know. There's just some good lightning round questions. Oh, we'll do lightning round question of the day. Is it worse to be left on red? It's or have the message not opened at all. We're going to get to it. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Bro, uh, there is wedding bells in the air. ding ling ling Did you know that we fucking made a marriage ding, occur? Ding, ding. I don't think we did. Or we didn't, but we facilitated. We, we were the middlemen. We facilitated because we gave them a group chat. Did you see that? Did you see that they're mar- they're like engaged now? They're engaged? That's what I'm trying to explain, bro. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so two people in our sus zone, um, they met each other through the sus zone, and now they're engaged. So we make dreams happen. Wow. We're matchmakers. Bro, I feel so good about it. I'm put like, it on my resume. I'm like so happy for them. You know, they're just two happy people mm. that love each other. I love happy people that love each other. I wonder, I think that we are invited to the wedding. If we ask, probably. Are you going to go? I don't know. It depends where it is. Yeah, it does depend where it is. That would be kind of insane. If- Low key, <laughs> we, we pulled up, though. That would be that would be really nice, I feel like. For who? For us or them? I, Jay, you think I was thinking about us? Oh, you're saying that it would be nice for them if we showed up? Yeah, oh, no? I don't know. Why? Because they got together because of our group chat. So it's like, you know. It's like us. It's like a moment. Is it our? Is it our no? It's duty? not us. It's not our wedding. I'm just saying, if we showed up, it would be really nice. Right? I I feel like it kind of is our wedding. Oh, so you're saying we should go get married? I feel like the podcast should take place during the ceremony. I agree. We should right. We should overshadow their wedding. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah, well, let's make the dad pay for it as well. Dude, I I just can't believe this shit happens, bro. Yeah, love's a crazy thing, man. Like, how do you meet somebody through us, and then love all of love. a sudden, just like you fuck, and then Start you get married and shit. Someone's on his knees. You know, shit go. You know, I'm proud. I'm really proud of you guys. You guys found love in a in a hopeless place. Is that you know, what it is? Yeah, and you know, he's a, he's a good man. He has uh, some kids, and he is uh, a lover. Do you think they uh, had sex yet? Um. Well, considering he's had sex prior, how do you know that? Because he has kids. 
Oh, he's a dad. He's a Dilf. Yes, he's a Dilf. Hmm. I, I'm a dad. I, I, I think that they probably have had the SEX. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to hear something awkward? So I was at the bar, and uh, I was with Blank and his friends. Yes. Let's cut that. Ooh, there you go. There, like Blank and his friends. Um, went out to the bar. Girl comes up to me, and she's like, hey, like, what's your ethnicity? I was like, oh, I was like, guess. She's like, um, are you half black? What? What should I do with that information, Jay? Well, she didn't give you information. She's asking you information. No, no, no. She said, like, you look half black. She didn't really ask. She, like, kind of told me. And I was like, what feature on me makes me look black? Was it the hair? Is my hair black? No, it could be like curly, construed curly if you're really, really drunk. If you're really, really, really drunk. They showed me, okay, so then another kid comes up to me, same friend He group. said you're black he's like, He's like, yo, I don't know, you do look kind of half black. <laughs> I was like, am I living in a fucking Twilight Zone? What am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo. Are, where were they hammered? From? Were they hammered? They had. I mean, hammered. they were drinking a little bit, but like they were adamant, and they were like, "Well, it, okay." So then I was like, "What makes you think this?" And they were like, "Well, our friend is like half black, and he kind of looks like you." Pulls up this kid's Instagram. It's like a white dude. I'm like, "That dude's not half black." He's like, "Yeah, he's like 15 percent or something." Well, logic. You know, logic. Yeah, logic is like black. How much? I think half black. Okay. He didn't look like Logic. Do I look like Logic? No, you don't look like Logic. No, I don't look like Logic. But Logic's skin tone is actually whiter than yours. I believe that, but he's like the albino type, no? I guess. I don't know. I feel like, okay, I have a little bit of a tan, but I've never in my life well, no, gotten I, African. I, the only way I would be able to see it, again, if it comes to the hair, if you had like curly hair that day or some shit like that. I don't think I had curly hair that day, Jay. Well, yeah, you did have, like, you posted on your story the other day some oh, weird-ass haircut, oh though. God. You were trying to be oh Oliver Tree, God. trying to steal my fucking thunder, trying to be fucking Oliver Tree with a bowl cut, you fucking no. asshole. Okay. You know what's crazy? Is I, I literally posted that, and I'm not joking. You are now number 12 or 13 person who has commented about Oliver Tree about the haircut. But no, it's mostly been women be like, Hey, is that really like going to be your haircut going forward? Because like, I'm just going to be honest with you. It looks terrible. Dude, like I, if I, I was shit you, you not, I would have left it. Then. That's what I'm saying. Yo, so you many rock people the fucking bowl were cut talking then. shit. That's good. I like that. Me too. That's why, dude, that's, dude, like I wore the tie with a polo just because I knew that shit was strange. Right. Like, like I fuck with that vibe. Like if somebody's like, oh, that shit is weird. That bro. shit looks like ass. Like, you're just like, fuck yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I was going I, for. That's the reaction I'm trying to get because that's what I'm saying. I'm like, no one gave a fuck about the content I was posting, but this is what pissed me off the most was like the content was completely ignored. Everybody only cares about your fucking appearance. I mean... I asked him what the piece of content was about. Oh, you 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 posted content in the bowl cut. In the bowl cut. Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't. Right, because it didn't get a lot of views because I looked ugly. Oh, but I like the fucking bowl cut, though. Me like, too. It, I feel like if you made content about the bowl cut, you would have actually got more views. I the did. Fact it was on my story. Yeah. And, I, and, and uh, I didn't make it specifically about. And I, I bet you that had a lot of fucking like, people looking at it, right? It had people commenting saying, that haircut is awful. It's great. I'm I not love joking. It. I had like 15 people comment, but it's insane. Like I'm not joking. I had FaceTimes. Yo, yo, is that like gonna be your haircut? Like moving forward? Like people were concerned. <laughs> like what's the problem? That's what I'm saying. And then that's it. You're mad at me because I'm taking. I knew you were gonna be mad at me because I'm doing the Oliver Tree thing. And then they're getting mad at me because I'm just ugly. So there's no really winning, well, is there? Well, fuck them for that. You know, I was just. I, I, at, so you win. I thought. I thought it was because you were stealing somebody's like no. creativity. You know, with the bull cut. See how? Although you know, you, the bull cut isn't only Oliver Tree. No, it, it's been around. It's not. And here's the problem. You just realize no one likes you. That's what I'm realizing. No one fucks with me. Wait, why? Because everybody's. Mad. I think they like you for your appearance. Is what you're. That's, is you're yeah. finding out. Is what you're finding out. They're Literally, like, they're like, dude, I can't follow you anymore. That's what I'm gonna saying. Have this shit. I'm not joking. I had the the smallest amount of story views I've ever had in my life. Be with that, I've I had like, I'm not joking. I'm I I swear to God, I felt like I got curved by three girls that day because of the haircut. 
Fuck them, bro. That I mean, means they're not real to begin with. No, they're not. But also, I was doing reckless shit. Okay, there is this one girl who's fucking fire. Hasn't posted a picture from 2020, right? Post a picture. It looks bomb. Like, she just, like, it was just, like, out of nowhere That's bomb beast. pics. Right. So, like, she does the one, one pick a yes, year thing, yes. right? And then it was like, holy fuck. So I, <laughs> I messaged her like, hey, I'm going to be honest. And I'm just telling her this over a voice note. Oh, oh. I'm like, hey, I'm going to be honest. You know, I saw your last picture. It's updated. Yeah, you look hot. Like, totally forgot that you existed. I want to I meet up with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. She answered the first time, just ghosted me after that. But I think after she saw the bolt cut. Yeah, I... But also, you have to realize, too, if she's only posting one time in that... Dude, how many DMs did she get oh from that shit? Oh, my God. She definitely got harassed. Exactly. 110%. So she was probably just like, fuck these guys, bro. You yes. didn't fuck with me way back then, but how, how about, about now? now? Literally, no. She, I <laughs> knew she was going to feel like that, but I was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so, I mean, it might have been the bull cut. It might not. That's true. She lives in Tucson. So okay. it's just, like, far. So yeah, I'm like, fuck eh, it. it is what it is. I, but I honestly, maybe I'll see her one day. But I think she's also a mom. And what's funny, this is going to be a little sus and shady. She posted that picture. She had a story up of her kid at the zoo. Mm. She deleted the, the kid at the zoo story after, like, you know, an hour or two. Oh, because somebody else slid in her DMs that she likes. That's what I was, I was That's like. That's what Ooh! happened. That's what Somebody happened. Somebody got caught being a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Look no, at the love not. that m happened with us. We have a single dad who found somebody. My point, exactly, I though. feel like it's honestly harder to be a single dad and find somebody. Fuck no, it's Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't Fuck know. Fuck no, you just lied hella through your teeth. How, how do you know? I know for a fact. I literally, I coach so many girls that are dating a, a guy with a kid. The problem is, like, a dad could just be so absent from the kid. And then no, girls don't care. No, fucked up. No, it is fucked up, but it's the truth. Like, a I mean, mom can be absent absent from a kid. I I've never seen it. I've seen it. I'm not, I honestly I'm telling you I haven't. Really, well, I understand it's happened for yes. sure. I, I've seen situations where the dad is more present than the mom. Yes. it's not insane. Yes, but my point is is like, okay, you know what? Okay, let me ask you this: Wouldn't it freak you out more with a mom that was absent from her uh, child versus a dad that wasn't? Well, I. It's hard for me because I'm only attracted to women. So if any <laughs> if, if if anybody I'm going after is absent from the kid they have, that's a red flag to me. Me too, completely. And I feel like if you're a a, a woman and you see a, a father who's absent from your child, that's going to be a huge red flag for you. Yeah, but think about many, it being a, a, a girl and you're dating, and like if the dad doesn't really give a fuck about a kid, mm -hmm. that's going to be looking bad. I'm not. I, listen, I'm not denying that. But how many girls are dating like? other like dads that like have kids and they're just like not with the kid i feel like i see that all the time where you i don't do see, see like but that's when just was the last time you seen a guy date a girl that was absent from her child yeah i don't know i don't think i know one personally no. but how many people do we know but personally? i don't really know that many people that have kids well, actually, adults, adult, old people, but they always are, like, usually together. Like, I, I don't really know them. Like, they're not my friends. They're just, I, like, old elders. I think a guy could hide it more. Oh, I don't have a kid? Let me hide my kid? Dude, how many people did we know dudes that, like, low-key... I know one situation you're talking about that didn't give a fuck about the kid. And, like, the girl dated him for a long time. Yes, but also think about even people in our fraternity that had, had kids. kids. That was super low key about it. The fact that I don't even know. My point, my point is that I think guys can hide that shit way more than a girl. I guess you're right. I you guess, know what I'm saying? I guess it, well, it comes down to custody, right? That's what it really comes down oh, to. Oh, yeah, I guess. Forgot about that thing. And the fact of the matter is that most of the time, the like mom ends up with custody. Yeah. And also, too, so, okay, I'm reading this, like, psychology book based on, like, humans and, like, how we, like, became who we are. So it's really fucking cool because, like, a lot of, like, scientific backing to, like, why, like, guys are more promiscuous or mm -hmm. why women are less. You know what I mean? Um, and it talks about, like, throughout history, like, it's prevalent that the mom is going to innately 
be more connected to the child or be caring for the child more in, across all species. Well, bro, I think that makes sense. If there's a growth coming out of you, you know, you might, you might, yes. this, this, this shit was made inside you. Exactly. It's like, imagine like having a toe just cut off. You're going to keep that toe, right? For the rest of your life close yes. to you. Yes. You know, I yes. would always touch my toe in the morning. Well, I don't know where you're going with this, but sure. If you had a toe and I it got toes, cut off, and, and it, I, I if don't. It, but if it got cut off, you're well, telling what, me you wouldn't keep it? If they gave it back to me, yeah, if they I'd get, probably put it as a necklace. That's what I'm saying, and you would wear it probably every day. 100. percent What and else am I gonna do with it? Just be like, I don't, I, I, I still have my toe. Yeah, and I used just, to get pissed when the tooth fairy came and took my tooth. I was like, give me that fucking tooth back. I don't want this money. Do you think that your mom kept your tooth, or do you think she threw it in the trash? What do you mean, my mom? The tooth fairy? Oh yeah. Do you think that? Do you think that one day you'll find the tooth fairy and like give it back? Okay, I'm sorry to break this to you, but the tooth fairy's not real. No, fuck you, boo. I, I'm sorry you didn't realize this by now, but the tooth fairy is not a real person. You're it is your mom. You're a dick. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, I hope, I hope moving kid, forward. I heard there's a kid listening. Yeah, you just ruined his fucking day, didn't if, you? If the kid made it through this scrooge, part, if they, if they what made about it, Santa Claus, dude? I'm telling you, if a kid's already how how. We're in like 20 minutes in or whatever, bro. Mm. If the kid's made it this far, this motherfucker knows like everything about life. genius. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. do you mean he knows everything about life? Well, because, bro, this is so like explicit that he's listening oh. to this. Dude, this is the kid at school that tells everybody it's all fake. Oh, this is the kid that we're talking about where the dad is not there. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. Okay, perfect. You know exactly what's you going on. You know who on. you are. Where's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Where's he at? Is it Gone? another, is it yeah. another state? Oh, you don't know him? Oh, that's interesting. That sucks. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> never Jesus mind. Christ. Never mind. <laughs> you know, it personally hurts me. Yeah. Right? Cause yeah. okay, I bring up my like my dad and my father, right? He met this new woman and like I guess yeah, like But you're old now. That's true. That's true. I wonder what my dad was thinking back in the day when like he was abandoning me. Oh wait, um, could we talk about the escort? Yes. Uh so okay. I got a little horny. Oh. And I've been hornier than normal, mm. right? Because I'm celibate. Yeah. So it's really been an issue for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's just say, uh, I would say in the last like week or two, I've gotten desperate. Oh, oh, I, oh. I would say that the, the word desperate is... is is The word okay. to use. Yeah, exactly. And I know, you know, I'm man enough to admit it when yeah. stuff like that happens. But anyways. It's like, you need to come. Correct. Without making myself come. Yes, yes. Um, have you ever thought of a fleshlight? I have one. Oh no! I don't have a flashlight. I have um, bro. Yeah, you, you should. You know what? I have a jerker offer. As as being celibate, maybe you should get a VR set and then Jesus one of Christ. those things. No, I'm telling you, bro. No, I I know you're telling me. But I don't like the idea. And then you had the machine, um, fucking a I, flashlight thing that moves and shit, and then you could fuck it while watching it no, like reality no. fucking TV See, porn. This is a problem with human nature right now. Because this is this is the issue. This is the future. No, it's not. You're telling me that's not the future? Oh, it is. Yeah, don't get me wrong. That's going to be sick. You're right. Like, if I get a virtual reality blowjob. That's what I'm saying. You could do that now. I guess you're right. It might be a, better. Well, I have a question. One second. I have a question about that. Do you think that it's okay if, like, you were, like, married to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And then you both had those, and you were just fucking each other with both, and both having them you on? you never seen that Black Mirror episode? Remember that black oh, mirror yes, episode? Oh yes, 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 yes. Where he puts the VR he, set and he fucks the the guy. Yes, it, or he fucks a guy. Doesn't he fuck a guy? There, no. I I was thinking about the one where they they can rewind memories. Oh, not that one. A different episode. The one where he gets in the video game. The virtual literally puts yes. the virtual oh, reality yes, yes, set yes, yes, and they're yes, like yes. versing each other in like the fighting thing, and I then they start fucking. That. I don't remember. Oh, bro, that you gotta one. watch that. Wait, it's like gay sex. I, the thing is, though, is I think the characters are. Straight, but I think the guys playing it are both guys. I think it's a guy and a girl oh, in the maybe, video game. Maybe I do know that then. I don't know. Same season. Same season as that one. It was like one of the newer seasons with it, that. It, do, are, do they go into the cloud? Are they in the cloud when this is happening? Maybe. No, okay, no, no. It's that's virtual reality. One. It is okay. literally exactly what you're describing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in a relationship. They're both playing video games, and they're fighting each other, and then they start fucking in the video Fuck. game. Fuck. I, I was thinking more like you're just like watching something while yeah. you're actually fucking on the outside. So like you're fucking like like you're fucking your wife, but mm. both of you guys are watching different shit. I mean, that sounds kinky and dope. I mean, I'm down with that. You would do I that. Think it, I think where you were going where it, I thought it was going to get like, I guess a question would be like, 
would you be okay with or would your wife be okay with wearing a VR set and jerking off to like some other girl? I mean, that's just like regular porn though. I'm saying I'm saying doing that except sex with your wife. So like having sex but thinking it, like but watching but another she's girl. She's going to know that you have the headset on so obviously you've talked about it. No, I I know that that's okay. Oh, you're saying do you think your wife in the future will be okay like outside of her to like masturbate? Yes, that's what I'm I saying. I mean, I think girls that are against like porn in general and guys watching porn aren't going to like that and then girls that don't give a fuck about porn won't give a fuck. Does your girl care about porn? I don't think so. Do you so. still watch porn? I mean, not really. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't rare, think so. But, I, I mean, if I did, I don't think she, like, if she, like, for example, this week, she's not here. So, yeah. I, Potentially, it might happen. I mean, I have. Oh. Well, I disgusting. come every day. What? <laughs> I've already said this. I need to come at least once a day. It's it's mandatory for me. I so, understand. So, so, anyways, like, so I have watched porn. Yeah. But... Like, I don't think she has a problem with it because it's not like, what am I doing watching porn? Yeah. Like, I, I think any girl who has a problem with porn, like, shouldn't have a problem unless it becomes a problem, like, sexual with your sex life. Like, if the guy's watching porn over fucking you, okay, yeah, you can have a problem with that. But if he's fucking you and still watching porn, who gives a fuck? Well, let me ask you this. Is it wrong then? Oh, well, mm. okay. So do you know how, like, some guys jerk off to... OnlyFans, Instagram, TikTok, yeah. right? Do you think it's wrong to continue to do that when you're in a relationship? To be honest, I personally don't think it's wrong as long as you're not like Interesting. as long as you're not messaging people. I, I feel like you take it one step mm. further by like trying to make contact with those people. I think that because and I think it's super hard for girls to understand that because they don't have brains like guys do. And like guys can disassociate like coming to like a girl that might be real and everything, not a porn star, they can disassociate that from like, like, they, yeah, they don't, they, it's just, it's like a habit or it's just like physical to them. It, it's not about like connection or anything like that. It's like, let yeah. me get my nut here and I still love you so much. I never want to like cheat on you or do anything like that. Mm. But I, I think that a, a guy can disassociate those two things. And I think it's hard for girls to understand that. Well, I'll say this. The only problem I have with that is as somebody who has jerked off to people on the internet or like changing pictures or whatever, you're well, saying that's, that's, different. that's different. Okay. So let's just say hypothetically I'm in a relationship and some like fire fucking Instagram model girl like follows me, right? New girl pretty much has her whole page is pretty much soft porn. Let's mm -hmm. just put it that mm -hmm. way, right? Um like the only issue I feel like happens with that is let's say you're fucking your girl for a really long time and then you get bored. You might start fantasizing about these other people. Well, I think that I think that's an internal thing that you have to like fix yourself as long as, again, you're not making steps to like be promiscuous outside of the bedroom. If you're just masturbating to a girl's Instagram account without like liking her pictures or commenting on her shit or like trying mm. to make some contact to her, then like what harm is that? Like it, nobody, first of all, knows that you're doing it. It's still basically yourself. Right? Yeah. I guess ignorance is bliss in that right? situation yeah. for her. Cause I guarantee if you told your girl, fuck no, she's not going to be cool with that. But that's what I'm saying. I, I don't. I think it's hard because I don't. I don't think. First of all, t testosterone in the body, what it does to males' sex drive is completely different than like, it, like a girl can even understand to experience what that like that drive is. And like, there's been scientific studies, and I've talked about it on this podcast before about like girls who have started testosterone and have had this extra sex drive that males like live with every single day so it's hard i think for for a girl to conceptualize a guy wanting to uh, a, a guy that she's dating wanting to jerk off to a girl on instagram even though he might not like want to fucking date her or marry her or fucking do whatever yeah. well i think in general i, I told you i was reading that site the, the psychology book on just on human nature it really is just a, a male nature yeah. to want sex and just yeah. want to fuck. Yeah. You know and what that, I mean? It's and, just different. And that's completely, I think, different than like the actual connection that you that males also look for in a partner. You know, like that connection doesn't need to be all about sex. And it's never, it shouldn't be all about sex ever. You know what I no. mean? It's much more than that. And I think that like, it, it, 
if if I was a girl out there and I feel this insecurity, I I just want to tell girls you shouldn't feel insecure about that. Mm, mm. Like don't don't feel insecure that your guy is like jerking off to like this Instagram like model that doesn't even look like you either. I think that like I remember with my ex like when she definitely hated it, and yeah. like the big thing is because like it would be to girls that like. Like she would sometimes see, of course, like, on my phone. they're gonna compare. And she, they're gonna think of exactly, like this is what you're fantasizing exactly. about. Exactly, and it, that's just not like to me. It's not the reality though. I don't view it like that. I'm like, it's not that I lost attraction to the girl I'm mm. with. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's the thing is that I I don't know. I I don't know. I feel like it's just a fantasy. It's just a yeah. moment. It's just a cum so, shot. So. I think the hard part is, is like when I'm in a relationship though, I'm actually not doing that. I actually stop. I don't jerk off at mm -hmm, all. Mm -hmm. If I'm in a relationship, I'm like, I honestly, I think I you really have a low won't. sex drive compared to a lot of like a men. Not right now. Well, not, but of course not right now because you, you're, you're lacking, but like compared to me, I definitely have a higher sex drive. I think than you, like, like I said, I need to come every night. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like, well, no, no, no. I feel as but my point was, is I'm taking some stuff right now. That's making me extra horny. Like oh, oh. I've been almost like on Wait. the verge of like having to come once to two times. Why a day. are you taking things to make yourself? Horny? No, 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 I'm not. It's oh. not purposely oh, to make oh, me oh, horny. Oh. It's just the things that I'm taking yes. to make me horny. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Actually speaking of which I did go get my testosterone levels checked. Oh, oh, oh. um, so honestly, what's really nice is I found out that pretty much my entire life outside of like a little bit more recently, um, I've taken a very, very safe, Dose, like very, oh, very safe, good. like prescription dose. They say if you take only two to 300 milligrams a week of test, that's what you would get prescribed from a doctor. And actually there's like mega health benefits to doing so. Yeah. So like, actually I'm not even really doing anything fucked up wrong. I have probably, I'm a little bit over that right now. Um, but I got to like lower that. But anyways, like that's what it is. It's just, that shit makes you, like you said, you know, extra testosterone, extra hormones yes. in your body. Like you, I feel that way. Yeah. To like say that, like I don't have a lot of sex drive when I'm when I'm with somebody. I don't, I don't think it's a lack of sex drive. Like ever, I really don't. I really just think that like when I'm having sex, I'm craving sex. But it's just like sometimes, like I mean, I guess I'm always craving sex. I the thing is, I actually hate jerking off. I really do. I don't. I don't like it. Like I feel bad sometimes jerking off, and I know I shouldn't feel that way, but it makes me like. I definitely 100% would way more prefer sex and crave sex. So when I'm having it, I don't, I want to save all of my nuts well, for the sex. I have a question though. When you, when you, like prior to you like fucking people, right? Prior to you like. When I was like a. Yeah, younger. Did you masturbate a lot? Yeah. Like, I think so. Like on a daily basis? I think so. I think it was hard living in a house that was so like tight with my family. Does that like it was just like a really small house that we were in. So like if I didn't have the opportunity, I didn't have the opportunity. You know what I mean? As a kid, it was like, when do I have to what, so what you time guys, to like, jerk did off? It, you guys like you stayed right next to like they, they could kind of I don't know. No, like, it's how just was like, it? like the walls are very thin. If somebody coughs, you could hear it clearly. Uh, so like you know what I'm saying? See, it's like, like my bedroom, like growing up, was like kind of farther away from everybody else. So like the thing is, I've like honestly in my life, probably every, I probably average at least like 300 like cum shots every year since I was 12. Honestly, probably probably it, a little over that. That to be honest, I don't really know. Okay, so like for instance, I've been celibate right yeah. now for how long? I definitely have. Probably jerked off every day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, then you're still coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's different. It's like you like you still crave that set even though you're jerk that's what I'm saying. Your mind or or the way that it's been happening because I've been celibate is like you stop wanting to jerk. Like you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. You're like, I want to fuck. Like, you know what I mean? Your I mind guess starts saying, I want to fuck. I guess for me, it's like I mean, for the past like fucking You've always had a partner. The, yeah, for the past, like, 10 years, yes. So That's it, my it, point. it's difficult for me because it's not, like, for me, like, I always only want sex. Like, sometimes I would just, like, 
like it's okay for me to just want to jack off. You yeah. Know? Well, because it's, it's something different. Yeah. Whereas, like for me, when you're doing it all the time, it's like that's true. I probably you, I would want to. Yeah, yeah, you want yeah, to yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You want. Yeah. And there, it is honestly, interesting because this week I probably masturbate. I came more this week than I usually do because she wasn't here. It's like oh, I, shit. Well, not, like, like, not like, to offend her. But no, no. It's usually, just, like it usually, it's once every night. And then, like, when she's not here, I was like, oh, well, in the morning, I can fucking come. Yikes. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know. That's kind of wild. In the morning before work? Yeah, like. That's like 5 a.m. I, I don't know. It's just like, I'm waking up. I'm like, yo, I'm horny. horny? Dude, that's what I'm saying. I think what? that because, because I'm alone, it's like, it's like, fuck it. What does I don't that mean? Know. What I does that know. mean? I, I'm alone, so fuck it. To be honest, today was the day I, I actually didn't come, and I wasn't feeling like it. I feel like I've came too much. Oh. Like, I feel like <laughs> this week I came too much, and I'm like, anti-coming today almost. Well, did I? I yeah, I've came today. Like, also at nighttime, like, what, what would happen is, like, as soon as I got home from work, I would come, and then right before bed, I would come. So that that's I feel mostly like that's a normal day. Okay, so then when okay, let's say I have a girl I'm having sex with, that's how it is normally for me. Twice a day, usually once during the morning or afternoon, and then at night, and then same, just repeat. Oh, with me, it's like usually right before bed. Because like for me, yeah. I need to come before bed. That's why I say oh, I do once a day because yeah. like coming before bed knocks me the fuck out. Same actually. You're right. And honestly, okay, but then my point is I have been hornier than normal because of shit I'm taking. I am coming twice a day, which is usually abnormal for me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of jerking off, like that thing is like, I feel horny to the point where I'm like, I got to get it out. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's not, it's not even a question. Yeah. Like before, like maybe like, uh, like two months ago, um, I would say, like, I could do, like, once a day, you know, once, twice, three times, and maybe a day off, and then, like, maybe a day on, and then maybe a day off, and then maybe it was twice, and then, like, that's, that okay, was, like, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, right now, it's, like, it's almost, like, you need to come I'm all the craving time. it. Yes, I'm sending weird DMs. So, like, what happened, then, if you were oh, so oh, horny? Oh, 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 okay. So, let's, yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. We got away from the escort story. So, okay. So, I was horny. Um, a lot of things have happened because I'm horny this the last like week. Oh, to oh. be honest, the awkward date happened. The Shooting escort shots. So I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood. I like I just worked out really hard for three straight days. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I'm shooting my shot. I'm getting a happy ending massage. I'm getting it. Yeah. I posted on my story. Yeah, yeah. Right? I saw that. One sus dude response. To it's me. a dude. One sus dude response. <laughs> oh no. No, no, no. And a bunch of people respond like, "Oh, it's funny," but like one dude was like, "I got a guy." You know what I mean? Like he's got a guy. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. What no. kind of fucking shit no. is going on here? No. He said, "I got a website." Okay. Sends me the website, and I was like, "Have you used this before?" He's like, "He's just laughing." He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "He's what's like, the website?" Do you really want me to give it to you? Yeah, why well, give it to the listener? I don't know if I want to. I'm I, like I might get in trouble. It's illegal. I, okay, you don't have to. Give if the you website. want the website, DM me personally. <laughs> I'll send it to you if you DM me personally. If you really need it, there's escorts and everywhere you could pick categories. So you could pick like, dude, I, I I never believe those websites are sketch. I feel like so no. right. So I asked him. I was like, how many times do you use this? He's like, close to fifty. He's like, this guy's he's like, I have an addiction. He's like, to he be honest, yeah. <laughs> he's like, bro, I bro, have an addiction, bro. This shit is me, too much for actually, me, bro. Fuck it. Let me read <laughs> the, con the let me read the conversation between me and him. Then let's do that. Let's he's do like, that. bro, bro. Sorry, I have a problem. Like, no, no, no. I'm not joking. He does have a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. And I'll tell you why. There's other there's oh, there's oh, backstory oh, to that. Oh, actually, does he have herpes so, now? No, oh. no. Um. So he sends me the website. It's fourletters.com. said, go on the shit right now. Low key, there's some baddies on there. 10 out of the 10 ones. I said, have you used it before? He said, yes. I said, fuck yeah, I'm down. He's like, same day. He said, they're fun, no cap. I said, expensive? He said, you could have a girl at your place in 30 minutes. Oh. I said, Jesus Christ, that's insane. He's like, anywhere between 300 to 900 for an hour. Oh, shit. He's like, you make so much money. I was like, damn. He's like, I've actually made a couple good friends from there. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking dead, bro. Yeah. He's like, baddies are right. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I, was like, I said, haha, a few. I said, one girl was down, but it was 400. I was like, when I FaceTimed, it wasn't amazing. So I use the website. I find one girl. There's about like in Arizona when I had looked active now was there was about like 14. 
Okay. Um, girls. So I was like, there was like one that I was like, all right, this is questionable. She's like some Spanish chick, Latina chick. I was like, all right, you know, I could do this. I messaged. Wait, we're out of the fourteen. How many were good looking? Two, three. Oh no! What but, do the others but, look like? Uh, like like um, low quality strippers. Oh, okay. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's do like, they look like crack addicts? It also depends on what your type is. Because, like, for instance, there's, like, some, like, frail Asian chicks. Or there'd be, like, just, you know, I don't know. Just Frail? Oh, my God. Frail. Like, I'm going to break yeah, it Yeah, bro? no, no. Like, just really, really petite. Not my type. Not my yeah, type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and that's what I'm saying. A couple I feel like if type. I was getting, a, like, a... Uh, Somebody uh, that did that, I would want like big boobs. That's what I'm saying. No, I no, that's like, what I wanted. I feel like for that situation, yeah. you would want like big boobs. Exactly. Like I want you to look ridiculous. You yeah. know what I mean? Literally, because yeah. yeah. this is for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just like make it fun. like. Anyways, so I I I hit this girl up. I text her. Um, I was like, hey, like, I was like, what's good? Like, you know, you like do massages or something? What did she say? Honestly, so yeah. you were just gonna do a like only a hand job, right? Correct. So but you can you so can the, get more. Is the four hundred dollars sex or is that just a hand $400 job? Four hundred dollars for a massage for an hour and a hand job. Oh God, that's too much. No, that's a know. lot. No, no, no. So when okay, so when I Facetimed her, she didn't give me pricing yet. So first off, they make you Facetime so they confirm your identity that you're not like some like cop or just some like weirdo, right? Okay. So I Facetime her. You just fucking awkward, bro. Because you're like, you know what I mean? Like I'm what Facetiming she... you for. Okay, so. She, she, so there's the oh, and also I've learned some terminology as well. Oh, okay, good. There's things called in call and out call. Oh, so what an in call massage is, they come to your house and it's more expensive. Okay, that makes <clears throat> sense. Out call is they have a location and you go meet them. Okay. So she was only doing out calls. She was only doing stuff. Oh, actually no, she was doing both. She said in call is five hundred. In call means that she comes to you. Come to us. Yes, to okay. my house. Okay. Out call means I go to her house. Okay. <clears throat> or not her house. They're usually, she was in a hotel room. So that's what I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. I FaceTimed her. Like, I saw her pictures. Then I FaceTimed her. I was like, oh, like. Her pictures were a lie. Her, her pictures were definitely I feel better. like you have to figure that. No. 100%. So, but like when I FaceTimed her, I was like, man, this is like. She's probably. I was like, she's like, kind of like, like old, like crusty stripper vibes. And I'm like, in a, in like a. In like a motel vibe, and I'm like, 100. You Those know what motels I mean? apparently are sketchy. Yeah, and I was just like, 400 dollars for that. I was like, I think I have better use of my money. So I hung up, and I was like, I'll let you know. I never heard up, but there was one girl that I was like, damn, this girl's fire. I texted her, and I was like, hey, like, what's good? She said, I'll be around at five. I like, I'm like, how much? Like, what's your rate? Never answered me. Ghost mm. me. And I think I hit her up one more time. I was like, yo, I'll Facetime you right now. I was yeah, desperate. yeah, yeah. Nothing. Radio silence. Gone. So I don't fucking know what happened to that. But anyways, let me finish the conversation. So after that, so long story short, I didn't fucking get one. Although I did try. Yes. Although I did try. Um, so he's Fuck. then- he's $400 then, though? Damn, bro. Yeah. I mean, honestly- For a hand job? And a massage. I think you're forgetting that part. But again, is but the like, massage no, going to be quality? What is that massage, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it going to be quality? I, I mean, I, they And they you must. have the tip probably. I mean- I think it's one of those things where you set a price and you're just like, that's where I'm staying. Okay. You know what I mean? If you're charging me for, I mean, you could, you probably could, but if you're in a tip, you might as well probably get a fucking blowjob at that point, right? Yeah. I don't know though. I, I mean, don't, if you want, I don't know about blowjobs, bro. I'm not, you know, I, I, I don't like wanna, you'd want a blowjob over banging her. No, I would, wouldn't either. Just I wouldn't hand either. Job you're saying. I feel like, yeah. And I would check for cuts. Jesus Christ. You're sketch. Of course. What do I, you mean? You don't know I don't, this. I don't give this a shit, person. Bro. That that's their job is to fuck guys that want to fuck. Yeah, that's uh, for money. Yeah, it's 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 uh, online prostitution. Yeah, it is. And then he's like sending me videos. I was like, oh, was like, he's sending you videos. Yeah, because he, he said of he, what of him like, getting fucked. No, he said to me, he hit this girl's injury. He's like, this is a really good friend from there. She said, should be cheaper. He said, should be cheaper if it's just a massage. And then he's like, if you want to fuck them, you want to say, hey, I'm looking for a one hour out call. FS. FS equals full service, a.k.a. they fucking. So just say FS, full FS, service. FS, I said, gotcha. Uh, she said, but some of the girls like to hustle it and charge more when they arrive. So make sure you're really clear about yes, the money yeah, beforehand. Like so he's giving me the tips. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he knows, right? Um, he's like, otherwise they finesse. He's like, I've had to take my money back from a couple of them. Oh. <laughs> So Give me my money back. He said I've he said I've ordered he said I've ordered no cap 30 plus. He's like it's almost addictive. Um <laughs> he's like Yo. Oh my god. 
he was he was talking about how like he kind of had an issue because his last relationship had a little bit of an issue. Yeah, that. <laughs> so I don't know. Bro, the fact know. the fact of the matter is is that instead of like hitting up one of these girls, you end up having a weird ass conversation with this dude about his obsession with prostitution. With prostitution. I okay, how about this? I will I will confirm one though at some point. I just feel like Bro, I have to. I feel like you should just go to one of these massage places. I don't trust that shit. I feel like that is cheaper. No, but I don't trust because every single time I hear that, I I I don't know what the secret handshake is. You don't is have there to go like, to the secret handshake. You have to just go to the right ones. The problem is you're going to like you can't go to massage it's envy. Be, it's, it's still gonna be sketch. You, you're gonna go to a sketch fucking establishment and jerking people off in that place. That is a fact. You have to go to ones that are in strip malls and it just says massage and it's like it looks a little like it's closed I don't windows. Want to just try random ones and see if they do it though. See, that's a waste of my money. I'd rather know that it's going to be confirmed. And it would be nice if they did come to my house and give me a massage in my house and left, jerk me off. What a day. That is true. That's an amazing day. That is true. You know what I'm saying? And it's safe. And it's easy. That's what I'm saying. You order it online, you're hearing it. It's like pizza. Yeah, I would be careful because I know that, like, dude, cops be doing sting operations like that shit online probably. <laughs> I don't Make sure know. you do the FaceTimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was all, well, I want to do the FaceTimes for me because I'm like, all right, I want to make sure that you're, like, at least viable. So this girl was not, though. She was... Nah, did nah. she have big boobs? She did, but, it, like, okay. What was she dressed as when she okay. when she answered the fa FaceTime call? Just, like, a tank top. But, like, okay, was, I'm going to throw... A bra? I'm going to throw something at you. You tell me if you understand what I'm saying. I got... Okay, I feel like there's such thing called stripper skin. And this is what I mean. Maybe not stripper skin. I think it's meth skin. No. <laughs> what? I don't know. They don't. I don't know if they're on drugs. I I don't know. I'm sure they are. Why is that? Also, I think they're making plenty of money on the. Oh, but maybe. Oh, you're saying because they need money for drugs. Yes. I couldn't tell you, Jay. She seemed like a nice lady. Not really. She was actually okay. Actually, you want to know the reason? Stripper skin, though. What the fuck is stripper skin? Okay. Explain. This okay, to not me. stripper skin. Okay, maybe. I just like. There looks like there's a texture, and they always have these like weird tattoos. That are just like not good. They're in bad spots. They're bad things. They're just ugly looking. And then their skin just looks like old. Are you sure she just wasn't old? That's a good point. That was probably where I was going with that. She's just an old lady? Maybe that's what it was. It's freaking been fucking me for a long I'll time. I'll tell you something though. The reason I really feel like I didn't do it was really her attitude. Oh, what was her attitude like? She was, because like. She just didn't give a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. And like, she wasn't treating me kindly. She was treating me like a customer. I mean, that's like a hard nosed customer. The thing is, that's that you are. Do you listen, realize that? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gentle man. I okay? understand that. Treat me with some damn respect. But I think that that's one thing that you might get confused. What was it? I was listening to a podcast about like. Oh, I, f I wish I remembered what it was, but it, basically the guy was saying that he went to Amsterdam and he like went to a red light district and yeah. fucked a, like a, a stripper and are not stripper but like a prostitute and he said that like it was so like underwhelming for him because of how she treated him she just treated him like whatever like i'll fuck you i'm just fucking you because this is my job yes and that's what i'm saying if you really want to earn some fucking money strippers and and prostitutes and whores but it's treat some no but, with some but damn but Kindness. It's it's just like kind of similar to my job. It's like when you have so many people like in front of you and you're doing running through like the same thing over and over again, it's really hard to keep that level of like hypeness. Well, guess what? You're in the customer service industry. I'm not, but Figure they are. Out. Figure it out. That's but all I'm saying. Th th their service is this. <laughs> this is their service. They I don't understand. need to give you a smile with it. Thank you for your service. You know what? Let's let's thank the strippers and the whores out there. You're welcome. Thank or you for thank your you. service. I, I feel like they're I just as important as welcome. the military. What do we think? I mean, they, they help the military. I, my point is, why do we stand and salute the troops when we should also be standing and saluting our service workers? I think that the troops stand and salute the, the service workers. <laughs> it's the opposite. Well, I think that everybody is standing at attention for the service. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Little, we got to, no. No, no We got to move intended. on. Okay. okay. <laughs> Long story short, if you're going to be my escort, 
I want to have fun on a personality level too. Sorry that I wanted both. All right, that's you're all I'm like saying. one of those people. Oh, a fucking. Have you ever wa- a li- uh, read the book uh, The Catcher in the Rye? I, you know, I probably it's back with when I was Holden, like 15. Holden basically there, there's this there's this part in it where he hires a fucking like prostitute and he only pays her just to talk to him. That's so nice. That's and, what I'm talking about. And, and so, is that what you're looking for? You know, maybe I should invite her. I'm looking for just, love. Just for a conversation. Hey, do you mind just talking to me? Please. I'm really going through a tough time. Just that, like emotionally dump on her. That's like a sugar baby vibe. That I should have. I should have went down that route. I should have just ordered her and just said, "Hey, you know what? Just sit right there. Let's let's just have a chat." But she's how much for talking? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> So. Wait, let me. Okay, what happened to this porn star thing? Is this connected at all? It, not in any way, but it is interesting. Why? I, the other day, I was thinking to myself, I was like, "Yo, how do porn stars like have sex on their like periods?" Why did you think that? Well, <laughs> I was watching like a video of a porn star, and they brought up something about periods, but they like did it, and then I like looked into it because like she was talking about it. Mm. And I was like thinking about it. I was like, I mean, there's there's period porn, of course, like bloody porn and shit is like there? that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. I didn't know you went there. I mean, listen, I'm a weirdo with porn. You know me. No, I'm I, I watch some I'm of the kidding. hentai. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I watch I don't, some. I don't. I've watched I, monsters fuck yes, each other. I don't. I don't watch. I don't watch period porn. But I, I, I did look that there is period porn. So girl. Oh. So that does happen. But. The other thing that happens is that they will put a sponge all the way up their vagina while they're on their periods so that the sponge, like, no. this is fact. This is bullshit. This is, dude, this is fact. This is fact. Fuck that. They, they put a sponge. Isn't that what a tampon is? Okay, well, no, tampons. Oh, this, okay, so it's funny. It's like because a sponge. Sometimes they'll do, like, a makeup sponge, and they'll put oh, it in there so that, like, it just, like... Gets it all the way in there. The problem yeah. is sometimes it gets like lost after the shoot. The like they have to like put their whole hands in there and pull out the sponge, oh, right? This is what now, I was telling you. The whole thing, bro. It's freaking. I out. know. I know. See, I know. that's what I'm talking about. It's bloody. What are I, we doing? I know. What, I, everybody hates me for the whole anti-vagina thing, but they're gross. I mean, that part. I was like, whoa, that's oh, a little wild. Speaking of which, bring us to one of our topics too. Before you finish this, it is quick topic. Yes, I had this argument with somebody. No, 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 it it wasn't an argument. About vaginas? It was about vaginas. So this moment right here we're having, right? Where I'm like, yo, fuck vagina, right? Which is a stupid thing to say as a straight man. But like- Why is that stupid? Good point. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck vagina. Yeah, (laughs) you're right. (laughs) Anti-vaginas. I was like, okay. Okay. I was like, okay. I explained it it to her in a good way that made her be like, oh shit. I was on the FaceTime with an- uh, This is a different kind of girl now that I'm actually- I fuck with. Okay. But not, not really. a prostitute. But not really. Not mm, close. Oh, she has okay. an OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Um, but she only sells like feet pics or something. But whatever. Oh, shit. It's all it's all the same she shit. She has right? nice feet. I I <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I, I'm done. <laughs> it, the, there's the excuses of like, I don't show my vagina, so it's like wholesome fans. Fuck that. No, it's not. Wholesome fans. You ever heard of that? Wholesomefans.com. Oh. I I, I follow a girl that posts on wholesomefans.com. It's essentially Who's just- paying for wholesome fans? <laughs> if you're paying for wholesome fans, you need to seek help immediately. <laughs> Call 1 800. Wholesome fans uh, is just Instagram. Figure it that's out. That's what I'm saying. Post your soft porn on Instagram. But no, no, I'm saying who, who's paying for a wholesome fans? Bro, that, that, guys. Th- those guys have problems. Uh, you know what it is? Because OnlyFans is not actually about the porn, it's about the conversations. I don't know if you know that. Girl, I didn't know that. So, like, think about this. OnlyFans is not about the pictures and the posts. OnlyFans is about the interactions that you have with the girl. So it's kind of like you don't think it's about the pictures? No. Well, yeah, sure. The videos matter, right? They get a, they get a video, but really, so a lot of girls have managers, right? That they have control their account and to all message it is, people exactly. So they pay somebody thirty percent. To sit there and have conversations with these guys. Dude, that's my new job. That want to like have these personal conversations. If you have an OnlyFans and you want me to talk for you. To run it. I'll Dude, do it. No, I know. I'm not joking. I know like two or three OnlyFans managers. Honestly. Like I call them right now. Like they'll be like, yo, I have so many sexual conversations with people every day for work and I make thousands of dollars. Holy shit. Just sexting guys, essentially. Because that's what it is. Think about this. 
So like for me, right? Remember I said how I jerk off to like people on the internet. I just get that for free. Yeah. Right. Where it's like I get girls that like follow me. We talk like, hey, what's going on? How's your day? Blah blah. blah. Oh, to me, you're so I'm not great. into sexting, so I don't think that that would like I don't I wouldn't pay to sex somebody. And it's not necessarily just about sexting too. Like yes, of course it's sexting. Don't get me wrong, but it's also like friendship. You're creating this personal relationship with the but girl. But it's fake. But it's fake if somebody else is running it. Yeah. If they're a huge account, more than likely you're interacting with somebody that is actually not yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, if they yeah, are a yeah, big yeah. account, I could I could put every dollar that I own that it is not actually yeah, them. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. it's a smaller person, right? Like somebody that has a smaller account, it's more like, you know, intimate. There's not as many followers. Amateur. Yes, more than likely it will be that person. And that's the thing. That's why OnlyFans is hard. OnlyFans is hard not because of you posting pictures. OnlyFans is hard because you need to interact with people all day long uh, for money. Yeah, yeah, or these yeah, people yeah. will stop paying you. Yeah. So essentially that's what it is. And that's why people are like, oh, OnlyFans is easy. No, it's not at all. Yeah, OnlyFans is fucking hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because not only, okay, you got to post your soft porn on Instagram, then you bring them from Instagram onto your OnlyFans. Then OnlyFans, you got to interact with them, talk to them. You might even have a private menu that you give them to yeah. like sell more yeah, and yeah, upsell yeah, yeah, them yeah, through yeah, your yeah. DMs. It's really a fucking entrepreneurship. I mean, in fact, where's your clit? You know what I mean? Where, well, are, we, where wait, are we going? What, with this? what about the vagina that you were talking about? Right. So this brings me to my next point. So, I was sexting with this girl, right? And she sends me, and this is what I was telling this girl. I said, I said, okay, okay. I said, I think this is gonna sound fucked. Like, if you remember this conversation me and you had about the floating vagina. Yes. About if you had a vagina off a woman's body. Yes. Just by itself, how it's that versus a dick. Which one would you rather look at? Oh, I didn't think we like asked that question. Com how, if you compared what uh, okay, easily uh, the vagina, of course, because you're a straight man, right? Of course, you have to say that. It's not. I don't <laughs> have to. You're saying you would say the dick. No, 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 no. The dick does not look My, better okay. than the vagina. Okay, let's rate it based on artwork and not based on sexuality. Okay, I will say. Okay, this is what I will have does to say. Does that make sense? No, no, no. I know, but are we talking the best looking vagina and the best looking dick? That, that was her point. Her point is a, a lot of vaginas are variable. There's that, so many but things. But th that's my point. Like you could really have a lot of but things But there's going. also variables in dicks. But with the not point, as much. But not as much. And that's what we're saying. But also, okay, this is what I said to her. I said, think about this. If I sent a dick pic to a girl, right? Is it really that weird? Would a girl kind of be down for a dick pic? I feel like the answer is I understand that like generally they would rather see your body and stuff. But if they saw a dick pic, they'd be kind of down, right? Sure. Let me ask you this question. If a girl sends you a video and it's just her, her finger is in her fucking vagina, she's jerking herself off, and it's just inside the, like, on the vagina, do you like that? Yes. I do. I don't. I know you don't. I, you, I know you don't. That's, to I me, I'm just don't. like, don't send me that. I know you don't like that. I know you don't like that. If you don't Now, send is it my favorite? No. 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 But it's not a girl's favorite to have a dick pic. But but also to me to me to me what else are you gonna send as a guy? Feet pics. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. As a guy, but you can that's send why dick as a guy pics. I don't send shit. I understand. That I'm saying okay, a guy that I was just, promiscuous. I, but I just I don't I, I don't think that that's a fair comparison. Because I think that women have... How is it not a fair comparison? Because a women, dick nude we, is probably no, no, better because, to get than a vagina no, nude. No, because women have so much more to give. I agree. No, I agree. So that's why it's not a fair comparison. Okay, I understand what you're saying. But you understand what I'm saying? It's like, you'd rather look at titties or an ass versus a cooch. That's not true. I'd rather have cooch and feet in the photo. I'd rather have a... How the fuck? A standing nude. How the fuck? Standing nude. No. Standing nude. You can't have cooch and feet in a picture. Dude, yes it is. There's, How? There's a Reddit called Plast. It, it, it's not, I guess the angle would have to just be like up here. Like no, no, up, no. And the, then down? No, no, no. There, there's, there's a Reddit called Plast. And basically, it's it's a uh, pussy, legs, ass, or it's like it's like toes, oh. and like feet. I don't know. It's just like it's basically it's everything. everything. But no, it's everything. Tits, everything. Gotcha. And, and so why don't they just call it women? It's it's this. It's a certain look. Like you have to. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, you get everything in the picture. Okay, how? This is like a it's, side profile? No, no, it's it's up front, but you have to like lay back and like put your Pull feet your up. <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah, what? it's it's a thing, bro. So it's kind of like a gynecologist view. I guess maybe. Right? You understand what I'm saying? But like, that's not my favorite view. My favorite view is literally a girl standing straight up, completely naked. 
Right. Are you uh, to my point? But that's a vagina. No. Yes. No. To me, no, to me, no. to me, that's a pussy no, look. No, it's not. To me, that is a pussy oh, look. See, that's my that's bullshit. To, to me, that's a pussy see, look. See, that's my point. No that, one wants that, to look inside the fucking mustard. Okay, if you're opening it up and looking in. Okay. Okay. No. Exactly my point. Okay. What, what the I, fuck? I, that you're, saying, is that? You're, you're saying you like the top of it. You like the look of like the outside crust. That's like, that looking at a, that's like looking at a sandwich and looking at it from the side, be like, a sandwich looks nice. Are you, you, you're talking about the inside? Like, you do want to go to the fucking gynecologist no, and do no. a pat smear Imagine, and fucking opening that shit <laughs> no. up. Dude, that shit, that's, yeah, that's okay, weird. That's that weird. That was, weird. My, that was my point. The girl that sent me the nude sent me herself fingering herself. Hella, fingering is different. Hella close up. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Phone is pretty much down in between her legs, like, you know, rubbing her fucking clit. I'm like... Get I rather have pasta okay, shit out of my let, face. Let me say this. I, I'll, I'll compare it to something. I rather have that video than just an ass shot. Fuck you. Hell no. Yes, fact. No way. Ass, dude, I will not come to just an ass picture. No way. That's a fact. I can come just on the curve of a fucking weird light. It's weird because I'll come to like a bikini ass picture. That makes no fucking sense. I know it doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. I know it doesn't make sense. For some reason, for some reason, having a naked ass is not like, I'm not into it. You put a thong on, I'm down. I understand what you're saying, though. I don't know. No, 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 no. I get what you're saying. Like, there's something about an ass that's in like a nice fucking thong compared to just like a bare ass. Bare ass sometimes... It doesn't look as hot. No, no, you're right. I'm not joking. Okay, I have a nude on my phone right now. Bare ass. Like, yeah, it's it's fire. But I'm like, I feel like you do look better in a thong. But maybe because you know what it is? it's. It, I think it tightens up the hips. Yeah. And I also feel like it creates this separation in uh, the visual. Yes, yes, It creates yes. more of a bubble effect. That makes Whereas, sense. Whereas, like, when you see their entire waist, you don't get the, the spacing. Yes, yes, that makes sense. But I will say, again, to me, a vagina pick. Okay, but when you... I'd okay. rather have a vagina pick than both, honestly, boobs or an ass pick by themselves. That's crazy, bro. Like, if okay, it's boobs well, and well, face, if okay, it's boobs out. and face, yeah. I, I would like boobs and face over just the, the only the vagina pic. Because, like, a so face... So you're saying, okay, okay, so let's say in front of you there was three pictures, right? Let's say this girl that was sexting me. She has huge titties, which she does. And then she's got a, like, you know, nice butt, but it was like, eh, whatever. And... <laughs> that sounds <laughs> fucked. Um, but, and then also, let's just say that, that same picture. It was kind of like... But only by themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no like, let's, face. Say, let's say Polaroid, right? And and it only had space for just those things. I would pick the vagina. To like get off to. Out of all of them, yeah. That's crazy. Cause like how? What visually is stimulating about if that? If she's t- if she's fingering herself. Okay, we just had a picture. Oh, 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 that's a video. Oh, okay, okay. But even if her hand is by her vagina, so you like the hand. It's the not hand the hand. Is necessary. It's not the if I had to do all of the, if if it, there was no hand, there was it was just the vagina, the boobs, or the ass, I'd probably end up with the boobs. Interesting. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, you, I never visualized. I thought you were an ass guy. No, not ass. I mean, when they, interesting. And when they always ask about ass or boobs, I would always you say, say boobs? boobs. Yeah, because I'm not a big boobs guy. Like I don't like big boobs, but I like boobs. You're a big boobs guy that isn't about big boobs. Exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay, it makes sense. But here's my point. It's like, okay, back to the sandwich analogy. I think that you like the crust. Okay, imagine if you were looking at a sandwich, right? <laughs> this is a weird I'm te- analogy. No, I'm telling you, it makes sense. Let's just say it's a peanut butter and jelly, right? And, and let's say, okay, it depends on the perception of, of the sandwich. Okay. So, okay, imagine if you are you have the sandwich in your hand, right? If you raise it to eye level, all you could see is the crust. That's what you're saying is the front, right? Because all you can see is the tip of it. You can't see inside or on top. But if you flip the sandwich over, now you see the white part of the bread, right? Yeah. That, to me, is the worst part. Or you're saying is less attractive than the crust. So you're saying... Because if, if, if you're looking she's at just a vagina, laying down, if she's... No, because... Um, okay. Imagine if you were looking directly into the vagina. Like, like as if you were looking open? through a telescope. Is it, is it open or are you just saying like... What do, what do you mean by open? Like, I didn't know that they had control of it like a curtain. No, that's what I'm saying. Is like she opening it up with her hands or some shit like that? Or is, no. she, is she just not touching it? She might have an Audi. Oh, that, but that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm into that too. 
but you like more of the top view. You like more of the frontal view where you get that little like the slit. You get like the little slit. You're, yeah, you, you just see like a little like you know space yes. there. Yes, but but, but my also point is I you're am... not looking in it. Like okay, it's not, you're not like looking into the vagina. But no, I am into that view if there's feet. I I'm still not understanding how you can get the upward view. And the oh, you're saying like if, if she's laying on her back, the gynecologist thing. Yes, because then you can see the feet and see inside. Yes, and the boobs. Yeah, you can see everything at that point. Yeah. Well, you need the whole package. That's what I'm saying. But that's what I, I think to my point. And the Again, face. When you're sending me the news, face is important for me because I, I feel agree. like I can't like it, it unless it's a girl that I've had sex with. Like even then, I would want the face. Yeah, but like I feel like a face is like super important. I don't just want to fucking jack off to a body. I could. I could. It's not that I can't. It's just I don't prefer that. That's my preference. No face. I uh, no no no. I, I mean I like face the most. Like I, it makes it more personal. Well, yeah. This goes back to the OnlyFans thing. I think the more personal you are with whatever it is you're doing in a sex way, I think it's better. Yeah. Right, the more face you have, right? Because yeah. then, it, like, you're putting a face to the yes, titties. Yes, yes. It's not just titties. Yes, it's right. Not floating titties. Right. But that's, that's what point. I'm saying. To me, like, the worst is just an ass shot, though. To me, that is the worst. Yeah, that's. I mean, at the end of the day, though, I just want to stop jerking off. And honestly, I was close. Remember the nice girl I went to lunch with? Mm -hmm. The ick girl with the coke. Oh yes, the coke girl. The okay, coke girl. Yes. Um, which wasn't really an ick. I really connected on a deep level, right? Okay. Hung out that night. We so we went to a rave. I don't know if I told you all this. No. Oh, so well, anyways. So like, really, you know, we had a good time. Come back. I'm treating her mad friendly. I'm not even like, you know, how like rave Chris. I could be like touchy and like, you know, vibes. Mm -hmm. None of that. Just homie vibes. Straight up homie vibes. On the couch, turns around, and tells me like, hey, listen, like, just want to like slow you down because like I'm just not ready for like doing all. I think she thought that I was trying to like fuck her that night because mm. she was there late night, at 4 a.m. Mm. on my couch, me and her alone. Mm. But then it was more like. You know, just let you know, like, you know, all the guys that, like, I talk to and they say they just want to be friends, they end up, like, in love with me. I'm like, no, you're oh good. I'm like, God. I was like, you're good. Like, I'm like, I'm the last guy you got to worry about with that. I was like, I, you could be. I won't I ever like, you, fall in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do you, I was like, what do you want me to say? But, but to your point, I think, like, I don't know if she was being real or fake. And, like, I just didn't like the way that she was talking to me in that way. So, like. We like, I think that maybe she wanted, like, maybe a girl who's doing that wants reassurance. I I think you're a hundred percent right. I think she's, and honestly, she was always, she said that cause I met her through a friend and she said that my friend said that all my friends are dogs about me. So like, I think already in her head and she's a, she's a good girl. She's a natural yeah. girl. So like uh, she's around Scottsdale people and probably thinks, Oh, these people are going to like fuck me over. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I'm just a good guy, but you, you're not believing me, yeah, yeah, which yeah. keeps happening. It happened with the, remember the girl back in the day? Um, the girl from Tucson? Yes. Same vibe. Yes. I remember you saying that, like, she just didn't believe that you would just be a nice guy. Exactly. And, and, and I feel it was the same exact vibe. So, anyways, she, like, half sleeps over, leaves in the morning, ends up texting me. They say, how are you feeling? I said, bestie. I was like, oh, blah, blah. Does, doesn't answer for, for 24 hours. Well, why are you acting, like, too much as her friend? That's a little reckless. Why? Were you trying to be her friend? I mean, I didn't really know. I didn't have my mind made up. Yeah, I was just trying to be her friend. Oh, okay. Remember, Maybe. I was in my era of just like treating girls as friends. Yes. No, I understand. But okay, by treat. Okay, if you, you gotta treat girls like friends, but also make it known that you're still interested. I did. I said I want to cuddle and I want to kiss you. Oh, okay. Okay, but bestie, bro, why are you gonna start with that? That's I'm little, being sarcastic. They not, because they're not getting that after you tell them. After oh, you don't have to worry about me. I'm not gonna fall in love with you because you're telling me I'm going to. You're telling me every guy I talk to like falls in love with me. Like yeah, like I don't that's believe like, y'all. That's like her trying to get confidence. All right, boost. listen, I don't give a motherfuck. <laughs> don't tell me I have to read through the lines. Yeah, and then oh, I mine is not that way. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm being dead. So anyways, miscommunication up the wazoo. Yes, yes. She, and then she texts me on Wednesday. She's like, hey, you're going to yoga? And I was like, uh, like, yeah, it's at this time. She's like, oh, and then she texts me back at like three hours later. Oh, bl tell blank um, that I'm not coming. I just ghosted her. I didn't answer. So I don't talk to her for six days. So I don't hit her up at all. Why? Because I was like, yo. Well, I guess that text, like, you don't need to respond. I didn't need a response to that. But also I'm like, you took a day to respond to me the first time. Hella short. Didn't really make it seem like you wanted to talk to me. 
again, you told me to my face that you aren't looking for something right now and that every guy falls in love with you. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not going to be the next fucking dude, the next victim that falls yeah. falls in love with you and then like, oh, like you oh, can't I don't get want him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the whole thing. I was like, okay, you want to like act like that? I'm going to give you space. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I gave her six days, text her uh, uh, literally yesterday. I was like, hey, how you doing? Like, you know, how, like, what are you up to? Super busy. How are you doing? I was like, oh, me too. I'm trying to have some balance. Like, I want to see you soon. No answer. Haven't talked now in three days. But I think it's also because, like, me taking the six days, of course. But also what you're saying is true. It's like, the problem is she made it seem like she was like, oh, every guy falls in love with me. But maybe I should have read through the lines and actually just kept going. I feel like whenever anybody's bragging like that, it's usually because they feel insecure about something. Uh, okay, so now I know for the future, but the thing is... In this like, you already sh- knew that. Like, think about people that brag in general, right? It's usually based because of, like, some insecurity. They want validation from that per- from somebody to be Listen. like, you know what? You are so dope. Now, I know she's not looking for that, but I- I'm she saying... Also, okay, well, I will say this one thing, too. I feel like she just, like, got out of a relationship with a guy that... Was kind of narcissist. It was the same thing with. Remember the old girl, same thing, same vibe. Yeah. We're like, okay, but think about the old girl. I pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and I didn't get anywhere. Yeah, remember? That is I true. did try. That is true. Right, and you can. We kept going, kept going. Finally, and what happened? I stopped talking to her. Two she months later, you. she hits me back up, and then I go to her back. Guess what? Before I texted her, I called her, old girl. I was like, hey. I'm doing a psychology study and I want to know some more you information. You called old girl about this girl? Old girl about new girl. Oh, shit. So, so, and I'm like, listen, like, I was like, I know you were feeling the same exact way. Like, tell me what I did wrong in that situation. And she was just like, pretty much like calling me out saying that I need to love unconditionally that like, you know, what I'm like, again, ghosting her, not talking to her for six days is not the right move is that I have to show her reassurance. And as the guy, like you have to try and try and chase and chase and chase. Because, ah, I don't know about that. And that's my point though. It's like, yeah, you want that because that's her experience. Because also I think these girls are both timid sexually. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe they're intimidated by you. That's what it is. I mean, I know for a fact because that's the thing is, again, you're you're coming from this outer world thinking so much about already all these. They uh, have preconceived mis- ideas about who yes. you are as a person. And that's what I'm, I, yo, me and her are arguing now. She has, a, and find out she has a boyfriend. Oh, the new, the, the, the old, old girl, girl has boyfriend. Oh, so you guys were arguing on the phone about it. Yes, for like an hour and a half. Oh, shit. And it was right back to normal of like this high, yeah, emotionally yeah, yeah, yeah. intense conversation. You were like, actually, no, this isn't a psychological study. This is just me telling you you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I actually texted her after. I was like, hey, thank you for the conversation. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. you. Like, I should have, like, I should be, like, nicer. And that's why I texted this girl. And then again, I think she was upset because, A, I didn't talk for six days. And yeah. then I said, I want to see you, which is, like, kind of like a throwaway, oh, I want to see you. Like, yeah. she's not feeling, like, my intensity towards her. I probably should have, like, followed up again. But now it's, like, I'm at the point where I'm, like, I just don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, no offense. There's already all these like miscommunications. I think saying bestie is never a route to go. It was sarcasm. I understand it's sarcasm. Through text message, sarcasm never works. My point is, I'm the worst texter of all time. Let's be honest. Yeah. I feel like I'm too nice. I I sent too many exclamation points. I just don't. Yeah. That's why I just don't text people. I, I should have just, but that's when it comes to me. dating, I, but I can't see I'm the worst. I really need somebody that's also ready timing wise. I need somebody that's not going to play games when you're 23. You don't, you're still doing that shit. Yeah. I'm not on that wave. Yeah, 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 I didn't, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I wasn't even trying to push it on you. Like I am literally trying to treat because honestly, I really did not know. Like, do I actually want to fuck you or like, cause like I'm attracted to you, but I'm more attracted to your personality than like your physical appearance. Oh, Oh, okay, and then that's... I mean, don't get me wrong. She's definitely a cute girl. Like, Yeah. But again, it was like not my type. It was one of those girls that are really pretty in the face, really petite body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, really yeah, petite yeah, body, yeah, which yeah. isn't my wheelhouse, but it was intriguing because of who Her she was as a person. Yeah. Which sucks because that's the relationship that you really you need, want to have. Yeah. Right? And naturally pretty. We talk about this all the time. Yes. So like... I'm at a crossroads with that. So right now I'm just letting that go. And if she comes back to me, it comes back to me, right? If she hits me back up, I don't care. But at the end of the day, I can't be the one that has to prove myself constantly. I understand that's like the mask. That's the hard thing is I, I know for next time now when I encounter this, just keep being nice, just keep being friendly and actually you have to like. I think it's hard because I think that you will always have that based on like, first of all, like. Perception. Yes, that's it. 
Number one. I think your perception of just like who you are is one way to these girls. And they, because they see a lot of other girls hitting you up. So they automatically assume you're just a player. Yeah. So that's my problem is that especially when I get a timid girl, I it's think- an uphill motherfucking battle and like at the end of the day for me i'm like relationships gotta be 50 50 like i can't be putting in all the work and and you giving me short answers you giving me oh guys fall in love with me like don't like me you know what i mean yeah. i'm like i mean that's just games right there that's my point up. that's my but point. i don't think it's intentional either i think that again she's nervous she's intimidated she's trying to do something to protect herself yeah and i think that was the other girl too but she was also still fizzling out over the old one and i'll say this her dog was still being watched by the ex. Oh, that's fucked. That's fucked. But she was the one who broke up with him. So it wasn't the other way around. Yeah, but she she's having him around as backup. I literally said that to her face. That's fast. I said that to her face. But but that's what I'm saying. It's like same situation with the old one too. And that's what I'm saying. Let me let me see where you're at in two months. Yeah. yeah Let's see yeah. what happens in two months when you finally get bored and actually get done a toxic guy. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest. So so at the end of the day. I don't think it was going to work out right now anyways because you, you're going to make me play the fucking long game for 300 years anyways. 100%. You're not going to fuck me without me essentially probably dating you. Yeah. But the thing is, that's what I'm saying. I just wanted to chill then. I don't want to fucking go ham. I literally, I was like, I'm just down for some intimacy. I was like, yo, can we, I was like, I'm down to cuddle. I was like, if you give me like one kiss, I'll be good with that. Listen to this, I was like, you know, oh, sex. That's, I was see, like, that's sex. sweet. Exactly. So I guess the best see if you're like, if you are coming across, I feel like, yeah, you would understand that that was sarcasm. That's my point. It's like, bro, because like you made it seem like, oh, every guy falls in love. But you. maybe it's also though for her, she's saying, oh, you see this as too casual. I don't know if she's like viewing it as. But this that. is my point. Why? Why are? Why are you? She shouldn't even have brought this conversation. A, I, the problem is she thought I was just gonna try to fuck her. I guess that's what I'm saying. But that's my point. Is like, bro, chill the fuck out. I wasn't even trying to do that shit. But again, the perception fucks me and makes these girls go nervous and then makes them play games, which. I, I can't sit here and just be like, okay, well, I got to ignore every single sign. Because, again, I did do that with the other girl yeah. where I, I said, okay, I think she's just scared. Let me yeah. keep trying. Kept yeah. trying, kept and trying, kept trying. Work. And it didn't work. No. So I was like, what do you want me to do? Damn, you're in a hard place, bro. Dude, I know. <laughs> no, this is what I literally said to I'm I'm literally saying I'm yelling at this girl. Yeah. Also, yo, I'm wilding on the phone with this girl. Because like I was like I was like tell me I was like so how'd you meet this new guy yeah. talking about the old girl yeah 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 she's like oh you know he tried for like four months like and I oh, finally shit. like you know gave him a real like, so you she know. doesn't like him that much that's right <laughs> yo I'm going in Jay 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 yo you are my savior right now you you are making me feel so much better about everything I was saying because I am on the same motherfucking page so I was like. So I was like, okay, okay. I was like, I was like, how long did it take you for you to sleep with him? She's like, oh, until we dated. I was like, four months. What? I was like, I was like, I was like, well, how many? I was like, I said, how many girls has he slept with? Guess. I mean, three, four. 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 Fuck. Less. That's what I'm saying. So I was like, but I just is he? Is she like? Was he trying to have sex with her? He said. He said. She said that he was. Okay. But like, but they, she's not a person who has sex a lot either, right? She has like correct. limited partners. So, so that does so make your maybe relationship that makes good. Sense. Yeah, it makes really right because you build but, like a friendship. Yeah. But I still got like, oh, he, he's he's so good. He like tells me about his feelings. I'm like, what does that mean? I I okay, you're gonna hate me for this. I'm not gonna say it. No, you no, know what? I'm not gonna. Say no, it. no, no, I'm not gonna say. You it. have to say. It. I was in the heat of the moment, and I and I don't want to talk like that, but I did. Say it. I'm not saying it. Wait, why? I'm not saying you it. You cannot say it. What was it? it? What was it? Because I don't even want to project that energy that I was speaking like this in a way that was like, it makes me look prideful and stupid, to be honest. About him do, showing feelings? I call him a beta. I mean, betas are dope, though. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that like, I wasn't. You don't because know him, but I don't know him. Yeah. But that's because what you're saying is yeah. like he's willing to sit there and just like let you tell him he doesn't want a relationship and he kept trying, kept trying, and then you just finally give in. And like that's what that's what this feminine And we don't also is. know if that's necessarily true either, though, too. Like she could be telling a story to make herself look better. 
I understand that, yes, it would probably not the case. She just, she, but she's one of those girls that has that alpha mentality. Like, you know those, you know those girls that are just like when very strong-willed? When I met her, I didn't willed. think so. I, I could see, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't just get that vibe. Yeah, maybe strong-willed. But I, I could see like a guy being more dominant. I, she didn't come, like, when I think of girls that are like that, I think of very just like hard girls. Like, I, it's hard to explain. It, it's like... Girls that I wouldn't be attracted to most of the time, usually. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that she was giving that vibe to me, like, like, oh, I'm, like, dominant, you know? Like, she seemed like she would be passive in a lot of situations. But my point is, I think opposites attract. I feel like she has a passive guy because she is a non-passive girl. You're saying she's not passive, then? Passive sexually, not passive intellectually and... In terms of like her own self worth, what she again? She didn't let me in. Yes, no, no, she no. She didn't let me I in understand. at all. Okay, okay, I understand that. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Usually, when I think of a girl that's like that's like dominant, I, I think I usually think of her like dominant in all aspects, including like I Sex? guess and relationships you, and emotions and shit like I, that. But that's what I'm saying. I think she wears the pants. That's what I'm saying. I think she's right wearing... now. But do you think that that's what she wants? No, but that's that was a... my comment. Okay, okay. That was my, that was my comment, and I literally said to her, I said, "Let me know when you get bored." I texted her that. I, I I think that I think that for him, like showing your feelings, I don't think that that's weird. No, like for a guy to do that. No, no, no. no. But it, and, and I don't not, think that's soft. I think it's soft if if you're like, oh, I want to do whatever to make you happy all the time. Like, what can I do for you all the time? If the guy's doing that to the girl all the time, yeah, yes, that's. I mean, and I don't know if it is that way, right? I don't know their relationship. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, and like, okay, that was like where, but we were. That's what I'm saying. We were just going at it, though. You and know she, what I mean? she was trying to stick up for him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was just, but that's what I'm saying. It was prideful. I honestly texted her and said, like, I didn't, I don't like the way that I was talking on that call. Like, I literally sent her voice and I said, I appreciate you because you were again. What you were thinking in your head is, I'm better than this guy that you're dating now. Just because, again, it's your pride in that situation. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, again, I'm not trying to no, I know steal you, his I know, girl. I know, but but like in your like heart. Of course. Yes, I, of course. Yo, like, You're just confident in who you are. Exactly. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And I just feel like. Uh, You're going to do that trying, with any girl you ever talk to. Yes. 100% yes. fast. That's just who you are. Yes. And, and that's what I'm saying. It's not like a. Better, yeah. I, I guess it's not like a better than. It's just like right. You're, you're saying you think like, you are doper than the, like anybody. Like more you, fun. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean. More yes, fun. Yes, just yes, yeah. Just because generally all the like a lot of the people we have met in our lives, I'm like some of these guys are just not that fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the time, that is true. And when you talk to a lot of girls, usually they're just like. I mean, honestly, I think that any girls that we talk to are always like. I've never met somebody like you. Exactly. Like that type of shit. Yeah. When they actually get to know us deeply, yeah. like they fuck with the vibe. But okay. So I also think like they, they're a better match though because I think I also do need a, a girl that is a little bit, and honestly I'm being dead ass about this is like not going to have that like fear stick up their ass. I guess that's what it is I mean, because, uh, but again, it's like, you don't want a girl to make you go through hoops unnecessarily. Correct. And I feel that girls that are, and listen, I like the vibe of like the innocent vibe, right? I like that vibe. Yeah. I want a girl that's like, I like that. You it's know hard mean? because I, I think it's very difficult for you to land a girl like that. Correct. I, I, I think because a lot of those girls are going to be very they afraid of you. They're not going to fuck with me. Yeah. They're not going to fuck it's gonna with me. It's going to be hard for you to land a girl who's like innocent or like yes. thinking like that because yes. you're not innocent. Correct. But that's what she was saying. I'm like, but I'm also not crazy either. Like, like that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's reputation. I really, I, am I really that crazy? Not like, I mean, you're still, you're just not innocent. Not innocent. I'm not innocent. But you're innocent. not crazy. I wouldn't, I would say that you're, you're sexually and like your sexual experience is above average for a male. Yes. But why should that prevent you from wanting to be with me? I think it, I think that it just scares them because they automatically like assume, assume I'm a category. Yeah. And you're right. It's like, I don't want the uphill battle. Honestly, take it reverse, right? You know how like you always talk about how you wouldn't date like a Scottsdale girl? Yeah. 
your perception is already yes, exactly. I've turned it's you the same off. Thing. I've tuned you it's, out. It's the right? same thing. Yeah. I'm not gonna let you in because I think that you're some fucking whore that isn't gonna like not kill a whore. the whore. To me, usually it's not because they're like sleeping around. It's just because again, their personality types for the most part is very material driven. In my perception. Right? There might be some that are actually yes. like, which there are. Yeah, no, yeah. Which there are where like you'd meet them, you'd be like, whoa, actually They're down you, are, earth. you yeah. are really fucking dope, yeah. but you do have this other side to yes. you. And I guess that's why, I remember how I said back in the day, like, I need a girl that understands some of the lifestyle. Yes. It's for that reason, not for the image, but for the fact of, I don't have you to explain myself. Yes. I don't yes. have to explain to you why I did fucking drugs last week. Yes, yes, I'm not yes, going to have to yeah, sit yeah, here and yeah, hide yeah, this yeah, shit yeah. from you because no. you don't fucking get it. That Okay, th that's another reason. An innocent. That's what I'm saying. You have too much edge for innocent, innocent girls. Right. Right, innocent, innocent. Yeah. And that's what both of them were, yeah. really, is like yeah. innocent, innocent, where it's like they really need the the homebody, like yeah. chill, like not going to put any pressure on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. that's what I'm saying. I think you're right. I think it is like some some sort of like fear in that way. And it, you want comfort, right? Yeah. You want somebody that you're going to be comfortable And you around. want somebody you feel like you can uh, relate to in that aspect. Like the thing yes. is, you have so many experiences that they probably can't even relate to can't. or come close to relating yeah. to, right? And so it's difficult, like, like. So the, the second one though, she's a raver, and she definitely oh, okay. was doing Molly, Molly with me. So, okay, so then I don't know. Like, maybe it's the sexual aspect for her. Does she? Do you know if she? Like, I really, has really experience? think it was more like she wanted me to keep pace because she pretty much said like a "we'll see" comment about me being just her friend. Oh, as in like she thought that I was trying to fuck, like just to fuck. Yeah. So I, but again, you can't tell me. Yo, you're just trying to fuck me, but then make the comment of, oh, every guy falls in love with me. Because I'm not going to go hard then. Don't don't say that shit to my face. It, like, Because, like, honestly, that pissed me off. The girls just want to be wanted. Oh, no doubt, Jay. No and doubt. I feel, like, I feel like they're showing you this because they, they want you to want them. But it's hard because when you tried that with the old girl, it didn't work. Correct. Correct. It's because I don't think she believed it. That's my point is that they don't, because remember, <laughs> they don't believe it already, right? They're already coming in with a conception that I don't believe it. And remember, your thoughts become reality. Yeah. Because what happens? You pushed me away because you you were thinking that already. And what happened? I, I took really long to respond because I felt that pressure from yeah. you. Now it looks like I am that guy. Your thought has become the reality because, oh, he didn't talk to me for six days. Oh, he doesn't really fuck with me like that. Yeah. That's why it's so fucked to but that's have why these maybe those, preconceived thoughts. But that's why I think you're right. You need a girl who can understand you on both aspects, right? They, they, yes. They're down to earth, but they also can like understand your lifestyle and, and, and meet, match you in that aspect as well. Yes. You're not going to like be able to be compatible with a girl yes. who's not like that. And that's the thing, too. It's like as much as I thought I liked this girl, right, I could get farther along and think, Oh, that was fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Oh, and actually be like, well, this isn't actually for me. Yeah. Right? But I really just wanted to get to know you more because I did like your personality and I have been like, so I, I honestly have been waiting. I haven't been You're waiting trying, for somebody yeah. where like I can connect with them on a personality level. So that's why it was very disappointing. But to your point where like I could do the thing of like trying and like, oh, send the voice note. Hey, like, are, you know, I'm sorry I like took so long to respond. Like, I do like you a lot. Like, I want to see you. Like, I don't you know. think that that works though either. It like, doesn't because then I look fucking feminine. Yes, <laughs> yes, you look. That's that's what I'm saying. It it it's hard for you to find girls like that because your person that or like your perception of who you are is already skewed in their heads. Like. I can play a friendship, but also going after somebody because the perception of it is that I'm like not a guy who's going to fuck a girl over. Right. So like, that's the problem is that somehow you need to, I think you need a long-term relationship on your records. That's what it, maybe I just need something. I think you need, I think you need like on the books, a long-term um, relationship just so that you can be like, look, I did it. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> Like I did it before, you know. I did this. Yes. I could do this. Yes, yes, yes. So long story short, you know, I was like, okay, you know what? Instead of messaging you, let me just cut my losses now. Listen, at the end of the day, if it was meant to be, it would it would make more sense. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And that's where I need to take solace. Is like, yo, I'm doing stuff in my life. I am actually busy. I do actually have a lot to do. I can sit here and play this game with another fucking 23 year old and do this whole thing again. But I'm like, 
I got to learn my lesson. At the end of the day, if it's meant to be, she'll reach out to me at some point. And if not, what am I going to yeah. do? Yeah, right. fuck it. Maybe I'll see you at a party or something like that, and then I'll say, hey, you know, I did actually fuck with you, and I did yeah. want actually legitimately wanted to see you, but... See, like, that would be a good opportunity. Like, if you, if you like, see her at a party and you have a, like, deep oh, conversation like that, I mean, that would be killer. No, well, that's the thing, is if I literally had another conversation with her, she would believe me. 100%. The problem is, is just like, A, I would have to either pick up the phone, which I don't want to do, because, yeah. again, I'm not chasing you, don't you after wanna, you ghost me. You need it to happen, like... Naturally. Yes, organic. Yes. So, I was waiting for her to come to yoga. That's why I was waiting until Tuesday. Didn't come again. Shit. So I was like, all right, cool. Well, there's another party this Monday. I don't know if she's going to be invited to that, but maybe she will. But either way, again, I'm not really like, again, another one bites the dust, yeah. I guess, long story short, with her and the other girl. I was actually supposed to have sex today, but maybe not, maybe tomorrow. With uh, somebody else? Yeah. Oh, so this is helping your case, your perception. <laughs> but what, what, what else no, to do? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's my point, though. It sucks. <laughs> you guys are forcing me into it. <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> I don't want to have sex. I don't. I literally, I'm like, yo, I would have just chilled. I'm not joking. I would have loved to just hung out, cuddled, and kissed, and that's it, and just been your friend for weeks. I didn't Maybe want- massage in a fucking hand massage, job. Massage, something. Just intellectually stimulating I would have paid you $400 if you were nice to me. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I also, so I, I did meet this girl from Canada that is more of my vibe, 27 like has done heroin, like oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's chill, bro. Fuck, <laughs> my bestie. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. So we'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned on my dating life because it's a fucking mess. Uh, do we want to do the Telby? Yeah, do you want to do the Telby over the lightning round questions? Yeah, I think we're in deep. Let's do that. Let's do that. So. No lightning round today because we're at 145. So I yeah. mean, we could. I mean, let's just let's just let's see how we're let's yes. see where we're at. So okay, do you want me to play the Telby? Yeah. Why don't you play the lightning round too, and then we could just go. Into it goes. It. Oh, yeah. oh, I like that. We're going to lightning round. And then we just in there. Okay. So basically, what's happening right now is we're playing an old Telby mm. from a male listener uh, who asked a question. Back in the um, day, in July. In July. And I have some actual follow-up to this question, so go ahead and play it. Okay, and we're going to do a couple questions. Hey, Nappy and Jay, huge fan. Uh, love the podcast. Mm. All right, lightning round question right here. I've been dating this girl, and she's always on her phone. And whenever I kind of just try to, like, sit next to her or just be close to her, she immediately hides her phone from me and like turns it off and sets it down. And you already know it happens every time. And I'm not trying to look at her screen or anything. Like I don't really care, but it seems a little sus to me because it's been happening for a while now. And I just think maybe she might be doing something shady, talking to some other guys, whatever it may be. What do you guys think about that? You tell on yourself. Okay. But, you tell on but, yourself. But, but listen to this. Okay, go ahead. So we get a message from this girl who says, so in this podcast for the first audio lightning round, the guy was talking about a girl who hides her phone. He was talking about me. Oh, shit. But his name is Blank, and he actually cheated on me with his ex, and I ended up meeting her at work, and I used to bartend at Curves Cabernet, and he got caught and always assumed I was being shady. I never cheated on him, ever, ever. He accused me of cheating before I knew he cheated on me, and when I was hanging out with him and uh, was on my phone, we were just hooking up and not dating. Secondly, he says, she says, yes, I, I said, I said, well, I respond. I said, fuck, this is some tea. And then she said, yes. And I've never cheated on anyone too. Not my style, but I screen record his question and sent it to him. And he denied that it was him last night. Then this morning, uh, he said that it was him, but he was either drunk or high. At this point, I don't care, cause, uh, but he tried to make me question myself and try to make me feel crazy. Yo, men ain't shit. Isn't that crazy? Men ain't shit. Because, yo, in the podcast, we were going in, we were like, yo, this girl's definitely doing some shady shit. That's what shit. I'm saying. I mean, I just did it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did it again. My fucking homie let me down hard. 
In he lied to her face. In reality, he's like, he's I don't probably think he just, was high, bro. He's probably just nervous because he, bro, she, he's doing it to her. That's cynical. That's cynical. He is using this question as a way to make her question herself. Yeah. <laughs> That's diabolical. That's the craziest amount of projection I've ever seen in my life. That yeah, that was some crazy. You're, you're to the point shit. where you're asking for help from other people on why your girl is cheating when you are cheating. That's insane. I, when I, when she sent me that, I was like, oh fuck. Perception's a bitch, man. It's insane. It's a bitch. It's insane. You're making me look fucking stupid up here. <laughs> you're making me look like a jackass. I mean, it is true. I, I like I always I didn't realize this, but like I guess if you are a cheater, you are more nervous that somebody else is cheating. A hundred and ten. I didn't even think I like I, I always hear that, but like I didn't realize. But this no. is just fact, right? Jay, there. it's real. Like, bro, people project like crazy. Whatever somebody's okay, if somebody's accusing you of something that you know you're not doing and it's just coming out of nowhere, just ask yourself, are they doing it to me? Yeah, because that's probably true. Little suspect. Why? Where is that coming from? Right. That's what I'm saying. If I'm her and you're making me feel crazy, if you're making me feel crazy about something like I don't know, that, that's going to be a red flag to me. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. Damn. I, 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 yo, that makes me so sad <laughs> because, it, yo, it really gives a, a men just a bad. Yo, honestly, I will say this. Men are liars. Yeah. But women are liars, too. Yeah. But, but, yo. Emily actually texted me at like yesterday night, right? And she literally said this to me and it was so heartfelt. It was like she was really sad because the guy that she's talking to, like, I don't know, it's not working out. He actually had sex with her for the first time and then said, I don't want to date. Oh. So you know how that story goes. When I'm like, Apparently four to five dates. Oh shit! First beforehand, oh, telling her that, fuck. telling her that he liked her and that he wants to date her. Oh no! Said the word date multiple times, and, and so then and she then like had sex, had and sex, then, and then he was just like, "Oh, I don't know if I could uh, do, do this." She literally said she's freaking out. Um, she's like, "Everything is always some type of an exchange for guys. It's crazy." She's like, "Don't be lying to bitches, Chris." Oh. I said, never do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not trying to hurt no one. I said, good vibes only. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But it's the truth. Like, honestly, but I guess it is hard to not. This is my problem. Yeah. Well, this is this is our problem because think about it. This is why I'm fucked because of the perception and because of the way other guys treat girls. Yes, fact. Because other guys are or treating girls bags. like shit and they're douchebags. And then you see a guy that's like looking like he's getting hella bitches. You're not going to trust this motherfucker for a second. No. So it's like when I am being, I'm like, yo, I want to be your friend. Like, actually, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm like trying. Yes. I'm like trying. But then I'm like, that's what I'm saying. You're, they you're think gonna, it's fake. They think it's fake. And then I look like such a bitch. I mean, with Emily's situation, four to five dates, and then he has sex with her and dipped. I didn't think that that was possible. Bro, dude. No, I didn't think guys would wait that, that long. Damn. Bro, they do the most. They do the most. They'll, for yo, sex like that? Yo, one time? Bro, I know. What are you doing? I've coached girls where this guy was long distance from this girl. And this makes more sense because you never met her yet. Yeah. But for four months, sending her Valentine's Day shit, uh, telling her that, you know, he really liked her, that he wasn't talking to anybody else. And that's the other thing. The problem is, yo, I will say this. Like, reaching with the loyalty within the, I tell Emily this all the time. I'm like, yo. I said, even if a guy tells you he wants fucking loyalty from you, I was like, pump the motherfucking brakes. I was like, like you told, uh, the, you, like you told the rave girl, yeah, or not the rave girl. You told this last girl that you went on a date with that you didn't even like. You said, yeah, I don't want you talking to anybody else. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I do lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here's the problem. I legitimately am not talking to anybody. No, no. When yes. I went on that date with her, yes. this other girl, she ghosted me. Yeah. We weren't talking. So the problem is that truth can change with time. Yes. And that's a fact I think that, that a lot of girls, I feel like, for especially, I feel like guys, their truth always changes with time. I don't, yep. I think girls are yep. like one set mindset when it comes to relationships. It's like once they're really in on a guy, it's full in. Whereas no, guys are more like, malleable in their thought processes so that's i mean at the end of the day that's that's really what it is because okay human nature 
right? Yeah. Human evolution, when we, I was reading this book, it's all talking about how, like, natural selection, you got to think about it, like, women take nine months to carry this baby, all this kinds of stuff. Like, throughout history, women will always be coy and men will always be chasing. Mm. It's just every species across everything. But also, again, it's like women are, when they pick somebody, it's because they're picking you, you think that you're the most fittest person for their child, yeah. essentially, reproduction. So when they make a choice, it's way different than when a guy makes that choice because a guy could reproduce with because he's women. making mad choices. Exactly, exactly. It's less like you said though about even the sex. Yeah, where it's like a guy could be, you know, talking and fantasizing about a girl and it not even fucking matter. Yeah, we we are not as we're we're just literally built different. Like actually different. No, but like yeah. no, no, no. Like Jace, like scientifically, no, hundred percent huge difference. And I being think, a man and a woman, there just is. Yeah, girls. You can't, you can't make, we're not equal. I think that they're better. Well, I don't think it's a better or worse thing. I, I think, think it's yeah, just I like, I think it's that they're, they're one better. Is, one I is feel it. like they're just nice, like better humans, if more moral. No, but we need, yo, listen, we need women to be that way. Yeah. This is, but no, this that's is how I'm we saying. improve as a society, believe it or not. Yeah. The, the, that's what people understand too. It's like, be, women, you guys are advancing society because essentially what you're doing is you're picking the fittest male to mate with you're picking the strongest or the best for the environment yes right yes, you understand what yes, i'm saying yes yes yes. so yes. women are actually the reason that you but guys they're picking the wrong guys lately oh it's tough well they, okay okay that was the whole book it was talking about how like men we are built to essentially act like think about it in nature right even if you're not the biggest you try to act the biggest to get pussy yeah and it's the same thing in real life and it's talking about how like humans same thing Guys are going to be more inclined to give you bullshit, smoke screen you because they want to fuck. Yeah. So men were built to smoke Lie. screen and women were built to try to weed out the bullshit. Yeah. But it's, but, but that's my, it sucks because it's just nature. Yeah. Because think about it, even um, in other animals, like it's the same exact thing. There's a reason that a bird builds a certain nest. Yes. Even if it, they're not like uh, the nest isn't like sturdy or something, like, they they do it in a way because they want the adaptations that men have are for getting pussy. Yes. Right. Yes. It's not even just about surviving the wild. It's also about attracting the female. The, the mate. Because yeah. the females, we need the female to reproduce to further our seed. Yes. That's what life really is, is just passing your genetics down and hopefully your genetics go from one baby to the next and the next and the next. Going. So that's really what we're doing as a society all the time. It's just natural selection of females having, and again, it's just gender roles. Yeah. Females having to select the fittest and men try to trick the female into thinking they're the fittest. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane, <laughs> but it's, it's fucking yeah. nature. Yeah. That's so fact. I don't know what the fuck to do. All right. Do we want to go to these other two questions? Or what do you think? Uh, we're at two think, hours. Yeah, I think we're good. You're done. Yeah. How about this? We're just doing in uh, less than four okay, minutes. Okay, okay. Let's All do right? that. So quick lightning round. Four less than four minutes. Make it happen. All right, ready? First one. Is it worse to be left on red or to have all the uh, well, to have the message not opened at all? And that's from Dirty D. I would say uh left on red because they're trying to make a statement. How would you know if they left you on open? It's only Snapchat then. Because if it's just delivered. Well, that, how do you know if they read it or not? Uh, no, but that's my point. Is that I I think that that's I think her, it has to. That's her question. Is that it what, has to be about Snapchat? Oh no, no, I don't know. The reason I say that is because what's the difference then between because let's leaving, say you send me a message, right? It just says delivered, no matter what. But that's why I think that her 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 question is is that what if it's but but have the message not opened at all? Well, I think that that's why she's thinking that it's delivered. No, 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 but that's what I'm saying. I think there's a huge difference between making it look like the message was unopened and actually not even opening it. Okay, well, I think even if it's Snapchat, I still think that it's the same thing. I think that being making it be read and not responded to, there's a message directly trying to be sent. Of course, but I also feel like not being left on open is a bigger message. I mean, it could have just been like, oh, it's, you didn't, you didn't, I didn't no, see it. No, no. That's a bigger. That's a bigger message. No, uh, that's that's almost like I don't even give a fuck what you're even trying to say to me. I feel like it's the other way, because I feel like it's like I see it and I don't even give a fuck. Like that's like this is like there's a possibility I didn't see it. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't believe that. That's to me that I know. I understand realistically. Yeah, they probably seen that the, you send them something. But I'm saying but that's that the it, it that leaves open is, is leave, the most savage. The most savage is being knowing you have a message and not even reading it. But it's just like like you never know. Like they might not have seen it or it might not have gone through that that type of shit. Those those are still possibilities, right? Whereas like reading it and not responding, it's only one possibility, and that's I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's true too. But also, okay, think about this, right? The girl, right, that I sent the message to that was like, hey, I want to see you soon, right? I, I mean, the thing, it just says delivered. I mean, I know she read it, right? I know she read it. But, like, in my mind, I'm still happy that she read it and didn't respond. I'd actually be more freaked out if I knew that she didn't read it at all. But that's what I'm saying, though. It says it doesn't say read, does it? No. But so, who has their read receipts on? I feel like people do, no? I feel like it's rarer nowadays. Oh, okay, maybe not. I don't know. Like, I don't really have. I don't. I honestly don't have a lot of people with it on. They used to. I honestly used to see it a lot more. I feel like it's diminished. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of like when she was talking about text message. I was thinking delivered versus read receipts. Because mm. that's what I'm well, saying. In that case, I feel like that is definite. Like showing you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Some that's shit. why I used to like read receipts. Is because it is a message in itself, right? Yeah. Hey, I read your shit, and I'm not going to respond. Yeah. That's a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Whereas, like, yeah, you're right. If it's just fucking... Oh, anyways. Okay, last one. Um, agree or disagree, how a guy treats his mom is how he treats his wife and daughters. That's from Bree. I don't really know daughters because I don't have a daughter, but I will say that I do agree probably with the the first one is how you date, like, how you treat, like, the person you're in a relationship with. And I would agree with that, too. Um, and to your point, I did have a weird feeling about the daughter thing. I was like, you know... It's interesting. I feel like the relationship could almost be different. I feel like you are more likely to treat your wife like your mother, but maybe actually not your daughters. Exactly. I I, I agree. I think that with the daughter, it's more of a like because it's it, a different you, relationship. Yeah, because it's almost like a protective relationship. And like I don't necessarily yeah like if something went down with my mom, I would be protective in like my wife. But I also like can feel that they have their own protection too. Like yeah, I respect their themselves. they're their own person. Whereas yes. like my daughter is more my seat. I I might care more about my daughter than exactly. than my wife at that point. If I hated my mom or I treated my mom like shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's a possibility you treat your mom like shit, but then you're hella nice to your daughter. Exactly. Like, I feel like I've actually probably seen that. Whereas like, and I will say, probably treats the wife like shit too. Yeah. But then the daughters, for some exactly. reason, is like the one you know, pe people that would get a pass. Yeah, no, but I definitely think for a fact that, and I think this is psychological, and I think there's probably a lot of science behind it, that mm -hmm. like you treat your like significant other how you treat your mom. I mean, it would freak me out. To be honest, like if somebody was like cursing at their mom, bro, like shit like that, like when I was like in school, like oh, yeah. if, a, if a daughter was doing that to their mom, bro, I, honestly... I think it's an immediate breakup for me. A hundred percent. Like if I seen a daughter curse, I mean, actually, speaking well, of which, yo, I my live one with ex, a roommate. I li oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that shit. Well, her mom is a little crazy, yeah, so I give her true. credit. Like, yo, honestly, her mom really is that's bad true, shit crazy. So it's like almost weirdly different, but also not really because I think the reason that we kind of broke up is because of the, like the craziness the that disrespect, she disrespect. Yeah, guess, yeah, like the ability to just like lose your marbles. Mm -hmm. Literally. But I guess it's hard, though, like, for me to judge somebody for disrespecting their parents when I don't know that relationship. But I, I, and it's also, like, it's not only, I feel like when a kid disrespects his parents, it's not only on the kid. It's also, I think, something, it has to do something with the parent. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, I understand what you're saying, too. You don't know the full story, right? Like, they could be abusive parents. So but not like, only abusive parents, but, like, at the same time. It, it, or neglecting. Not only neglecting, but accepting the the abuse from their kids too. Like being so like giving to their kids mm. every whim to allow the kids to walk over them. Like yep. that. I I mean, yep. you're I've seen you're that leading too many times. Yeah, you're leading your kid down a bad road because he's just going to be entitled his whole life. Mm -hmm. Like oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Really good so like point. it's not like yes like yeah. it's fucked up to ever like disrespect your parents, but I feel like kids that usually do. Unless they have like some like fucking problems, it's usually also because the parents allowed that disrespect. Yeah, facts. Like, there's no way my parents would allow me to just cuss at them or some shit like that. I would fucking die. I feel no, like. No, hundred percent. And yo, you remember those kids like in school that like would like shit on their like parents and be like, "Yo, buy me these shoes, yeah, bitch." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you'd yeah. be like, "What the yeah, fuck?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd be like, "This is how like your house goes." <laughs> yeah. And like the like the mom is almost like down. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? You're like. 
That's really how you're going to allow It's like they give up on trying to say no, maybe. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. Great point, though. Really great point. All right, thank you for hitting our podcast. All right. Thank you. I didn't do that. I was yawning. Oh, I was. I was. You went. To, you went full down. Baby, down, oh. down. Oh, down syndrome. That's not. Am I allowed? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs>